Welcome to the Animal Show, helping pets in your community find their forever homes. I'm Danica Collins, inviting you to join us for the next half hour as we visit some of the good people working hard to bring people and pets together. Featuring Surrey Animal Resource Center, the City of Coquitlam Animal Shelter, New Westminster Animal Shelter, Langley's Paddydale Animal Shelter, I love animals and I think every animal deserves a home. Stick around, maybe you'll find a new friend. The Coquitlam Animal Shelter is located at 500 Mariner Way. They always have animals looking for good homes. So if you're interested, let them know by calling 604-927-7387. Let's see who's in there now. Hi there, my name's Diane and we're at the Coquitlam Animal Shelter. I'm here with Dwayne today. Dwayne is about a two-year-old um, boy. Um, he's been neutered, he's up to date on his vaccines. Um, he's very eager to escape, so he'd have to go um, to a home where he's going to be kept strictly indoor. Um, and people are going to watch him closely just to make sure he can't get out, because he did come in as a tomcat, so he does have um, that kind of urge to wander still, it would appear. Um, but he's super sweet, he's purring up a storm, pretty squirmy. Um, so if you want to meet Dwayne, come on down to the Coquitlam Animal Shelter. is Ghost. Um, Ghost came in around the same time as Dwayne. Um, I'd say he's about the same age, so around two or three or so. Um, also came in as a, a tomcat, um, so he would need to be kept um, indoors, um, probably as the only cat. Um, he is pretty shy um, and probably wouldn't recommend him for a uh, home with dogs either. Um, he's been neutered, he's up to date on his vaccines, he's trying to escape. Um, pretty active guy. Um, so if you want to meet him, you can come on down. <laughs> and this is Channing. Channing is about a two or three year old um, boy. Um, he's recently had his neuter and his vaccine, so he's pretty much good to go. Um, he's really good with other cats. Um, I suspect he would probably be quite good with dogs as well. We haven't introduced him to anybody, um, but he's just such a mellow, loving guy, so I think he probably would do just fine with a slow introduction. Um, so if you want to meet him, you can come on in. And I have with me here Kit Kat. Kit Kat is a senior fellow. Um, he's been here for a little while. Um, he did come in with um, a wound on his head, which um, he had to have a surgery for and some antibiotics, but that's all cleared up. Um, we did uncover with some blood work that um, he is hyperthyroid, so he is on a medication for that. It's once daily. Um, hyperthyroidism is a um, very common disease in senior cats. Um, it's quite easily treated with medication um, and kind of monitoring with blood work. Um, he would do great in a home um, probably without any other animals. Um, just because he's not um, super into um, other cats here. Um, so if you want to meet him, you can come on down. And this is Mama. Mama is, I would say, about two years old or so. Um, she came to us in the summer uh, very pregnant. Um, she had her babies. She was a great mom. Um, she really took care of them. Um, they've all since been adopted out and she's been spayed. Um, she's had her vaccine, so she's ready to go. Um, she's a pretty calm, quiet little cat. Um, gets along well with the other cats. I think she would probably do well with kids as well. She's very gentle. I've never seen her um, so much as swat at anybody, so um, probably good with kids. Um, so if you want to meet her, you can come on in.
You're watching The Animal Show, helping animals find people. If we patch up an animal who's been hit by a car and now it's ready to go, but it sits in a shelter for months and months because we can't find an appropriate home for it, that doesn't really serve the purpose of the shelter or the community or the animal. Having a tool like the Animal Show to be able to get that animal out of the shelter and into a permanent home, that's really our goal. We have uh, noticed a big difference over the years in terms of the number of calls that we uh, are getting specifically from uh, people who have seen uh, animals on the show. We, we do get a lot of phone calls after a showing asking about a particular animal that people have seen on the show. So we've noticed a huge difference um, since we've been doing the show. People really enjoy coming to see the dogs that they've seen on TV, which brings a lot of attention to the dogs, which eventually gets them adopted. Any kind of support that can come from the community is what keeps this show doing its job on the air and keeping the high quality of the show. I think it's a wonderful uh, partnership between uh, the animal show and the shelters. Uh, we can reach a larger number of people than would just be sort of walking through our shelter doors at any given time. I think the tool or the, um, the advantage that the animal show brings in, in letting people know that we exist at all hopefully is that people contact us before they hit a tipping point with their animal. If they don't know how to find a, a shelter to help them, that relationship may be so fractured by the time they actually find the shelter that the only thing they can do is rehome the animal, that they've just had enough, that the bond is completely broken. People are more aware of our organization, so they hear about it, then they want to volunteer, or they want to help out in some other way. And really, it, it's it's allowing us to free up some space to help out people who might not be able to keep their animals anymore if they need to surrender them. Us getting them on TV and getting their faces out there is what brings the public in. So it actually, it's a snowball effect as the show can continue on or they come and spend time with the animals and that's what we really need. So it's just, it's a beautiful effect. If you would like to help us help the animals, you can make a donation to the animal show. Thanks for your help because every animal deserves a home. The Paddydale Animal Shelter in Langley is located at 26220 56th Avenue. If you wish to visit any of the animals that are there for adoption, call 604-857-5055. Let's visit the animals now. Hi there, my name is Jane Nelson, Manager of Animal Welfare here at the Langley Animal Protection Society and the uh, Paddydale Animal Shelter. With me uh, today is uh, adoption counselor and trainer uh, Linnea uh, Ishmael and uh, our four gorgeous little Christmas puppies. These uh, little cutie pies are uh, about seven weeks old. We uh, are not a hundred percent sure on uh, what their breed makeup is, but um, based on the information that we were given, our best guess is probably mom was probably a Rottweiler Shepherd mix and dad was most likely a Great Pyrenees mix. So these guys are big already for seven weeks, and uh, we think they're going to mature into uh, large breed dogs. They are um, absolutely adorable. They've got um, two have short coats and two have long coats. We've got, I think, two girls and two boys. Mm -hmm. And um, we are currently accepting applications for these little peanuts. You can watch these uh, little cutie pies all day, every day on our live stream channel. Uh, for the link, you can just go to our uh, website, uh, lapsbc.ca, and uh, look for the link for our live stream channel to watch the Christmas puppies. So if you have got room in your heart and home, uh, and a Christmas stocking maybe for a puppy, um, please give us a call here at the Paddydale Animal Shelter. Hello, darling. Look at this.
with me now is Rosie, and uh, this gorgeous girl is a two and a half year old standard schnauzer, which means she's uh, bigger than the little uh, mini schnauzers that you see, but not as big as the giant schnauzers. Um, she weighs about probably 40 pounds. Um, so she's, uh, she's a pretty good size. She's probably around 18 inches at the shoulder, I'm guessing. Um, so not small. These guys are um, not non-shedding, but they are a lower shedding um, breed. They do require uh, regular grooming every sort of eight weeks or so to give them this uh, nice, um, unique look. Um, and they do get quite, quite furry, so you definitely want to uh, budget for that, for some clipping in between. Um, she is uh, a very good-natured, wiggly, energetic, uh, fun-loving, affectionate uh, dog. She is uh, looking for uh, probably an active home with, um, she, she would get along well with other dogs, with uh, older children. Um, she is uh, just generally, I think, going to be a really fun dog to own. So if you have got uh, room in your heart and home for a very cute, fluffy, salt and pepper uh, standard schnauzer named Rosie, give us a call here at the Laps Paddydale Animal Shelter. With me now is uh, Archer, and uh, this gorgeous guy is uh, just a cutie pie. He is uh, likely a little husky mix. Again, he's probably about the same size as Rosie. I would uh, guess he's probably in the 40, 45 pound range. Um, he's not uh, very big either. And uh, he is uh, super, super uh, athletic and uh, fun loving. He's great with other dogs. He is like super, super snuggly. He's just a little cutie pie. He's going to be um, such a fun little dog to own. Um, I think that uh, absolutely he's going to be um, Lots of fun for someone to hike with or do uh, dog sports with or uh, even just snuggle on the couch with. He's, pretty, uh, he's a pretty cool little guy. So um, I think he's around, uh, he's young. I think he's around a year or two years old. And um, we, I'm going to guess probably a little uh, husky mix of some sort. Um, maybe a uh, little cattle dog or a little uh, Aussie shepherd or something like that. Um, just uh, a real cute little Heinz 57. Great size, great coat, and uh, great little personality. So uh, if you've got room in your heart and home for a little red shelter puppy, uh, give us a call here at the Paddydale Animal Shelter. With me now are brothers Crosby and Nash. These uh, handsome boys are about seven months old, and uh, they came to us from uh, a farm property where they were living outside with their mama, and um, they have been uh, in foster care for several months while they um, recovered from some minor health issues, and um, we're all staticky. Some minor health issues. They, um, they were socialized by one of our wonderful foster moms, um, without uh, our foster moms, there would be uh, a lot of kittens that wouldn't survive because uh, there are just uh, so many in need and uh, there just uh, aren't enough uh, resources here at the shelter. So we really rely on our foster moms to uh, help us uh, raise kittens uh, to be healthy uh, and big enough to go into their homes of their own. So these two uh, have been in, uh, in care for a little longer than normal, but they are uh, both ready to go affectionate, handsome, very soft, um, lovely, lovely cats. And uh, it would be awesome if we could find them a home together. Um, because we would love to see these guys find homes for Christmas, we are offering a uh, December special on Crosby and Nash. Um, and if you would like to adopt both these boys, it would be for uh, a single adoption fee. Um, so you'd get two beautiful cats for the price of one. So if you have got room in your heart for two beautiful orange kitties, please give us a call here at the Paddydale Animal Shelter.
And now, another pet training tip from the Good Dog Ranch in Port Coquitlam. Hi, it's Jamie Kenna here from Good Dog Training Boarding and Daycare. And I'm here with my friend Teddy today, who's an eight-month-old mixed breed puppy, um, to talk to you about some winter tips. As nice as it looks today, winter is coming and it's great for us to start to get prepared. Things we want to look out for in winter time is that we keep our dogs as warm and dry as possible. So if they're out playing in the snow or in the rain, we make sure that we properly dry them off. This includes the paws. Uh, in the winter time, there's lots of salt on the roads and this can make our dog's feet dry and crack. So it's important that if we're out on a walk that we have salty and we have salty paws that we do wipe them off. You can actually even apply a little bit of Vaseline to help the dogs from getting salt on their feet to begin with. It's important that we keep our dogs inside during the winter time as much as possible and that we don't leave food and water dishes outside. Um, not only does this attract wildlife, but for water dishes left outside, if a dog spends a lot of time outside, can quickly freeze. And that's not fair for a dog if they're not able to have access to water at all times. Uh, if you have a long-haired dog like Teddy, you might want to invest in a raincoat or a jacket or a sweater to keep them as clean and dry as possible. Uh, wintertime Christmas treats are wonderful for us, Christmas trees, ornaments and the goodies that come with it, but it's a good idea to make sure that, especially if you have a puppy, you might want to put a baby gate around your Christmas tree, or you want to make sure that the dog has limited access when they're supervised to these areas so they're not ingesting things like ornaments or pine needles um, or Christmas wrapping paper, ribbons, things like this. Particularly goodies, turkey bones and chocolate can be toxic to dogs and, dogs and cause all sorts of health issues, so we try and keep them away from those items. Um, try and follow these tips and you'll have a wonderful winter season and we wish you a Merry Christmas from everybody here at Good Dog. Right Teddy? Right, right, right. This is the Surrey Animal Resource Centre. They have lots of animals up for adoption and will welcome a visit by you if you are interested. So please call and visit the Surrey Animal Resource Centre. Hi, I'm Shelley at the Surrey Animal Resource Centre and today we have a special guest, Sierra. So she's going to help us introduce the animals to you that we have up for adoption. Here we have Bernard. He is a beautiful bunny and he's very social and outgoing. Right now he's munching on his apple. He's actually already finished his apple. So he's a big bunny with a big appetite. He really likes craisins. Those are definitely his favourite treat and the staff have been working on teaching him some tricks. So if you're interested in, in Bernard, he's definitely a good family rabbit. Some of the larger rabbits make better pets for younger children. Um, they tend to just have more calm personalities and do better in busy envir environments. So if you're interested in Bernard, please come down to the shelter and meet Bernard. He is about a 12-year-old senior guy that came into the shelter as a stray. Marty has just recovering from dental surgery, and now he's ready to go for his forever home. He definitely likes to nap for most of the day and definitely will find a soft, cozy place to curl up, and he even actually likes being tucked in. Um, I took some pictures of him in my office all curled up underneath a blanket, and he just kind of closed his eyes and said thank you and then had a nap uh, underneath his blanket. Um, but definitely the, the frosty air out there has definitely got him all excited. He was out there rolling in the grass and uh, feeling all young and spry for a few minutes right before the camera hit. So if you have the time and the love for a senior in your home for the holidays this year, please come down and meet Marty. Next up we have Gladys. We think she's about five or six years old and she came into the shelter as a stray. So this sweet girl has easily become a staff favorite and she attends our daily staff meeting, going from person to person for a, a chin scratch and a headbutt. This sweet girl loves, loves to be with people. Um, and even though we do brush her daily, she just kind of has that bed head every day that just kind of lasts all day for her. She is so sweet and definitely would love to come uh, into someone's house. It's nice and warm and cozy for the holidays. One thing that's um, maybe preventing Gladys from going into a home sooner than some of the other cats is she does have a medical condition of having an inflamed bladder. So she does need to go to the vet uh, for meds uh, that she will need to take for the rest of her life. Uh, so she does need a little bit of extra care. So that would probably require going to the vet once a month um, and to just get a refill on her medication. 
but this sweet girl is definitely worth it. So if you're interested in this beautiful Gladys, please come down to the shelter and ask the staff to, to spend some time with her. we have Kobe. He is a one and a half year old uh, dog that's got lots and lots of energy. The nice thing about Kobe is he's got lots of social skills with people and with other dogs. Sit. Oh, as I sit. Oh, and he's still learning his manners. So he does know a sit, although he's really not wanting to right now uh, with the cold ground. That was almost one, so I'll give him that. And he knows shake a paw. Hi. Good boy. But this guy definitely needs a home with someone who can take him out, play ball with him, take him to the dog park, let him get social with other dogs. Um, yeah, so he would love to be at home and rip open his own Christmas presents this year. So if you're interested in Kobe, please come down to the shelter and take him out and throw the ball around for him. Let's get a ball. Let's get it. Where's this? Where's this? Hey, ready? Go, go, ready? Hey, go get it. He's still learning to bring it back though. <laughs> He's just a big puppy. watching The Animal Show. Join us again as we help pets find their forever homes.